In this presentation, we will enter adjusting entries from Excel Worksheet into QuickBooks. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in our worksheet. We have our adjusting entries. Our goal is going to be to enter all the ones with an A because those are going to be the adjusting entries as opposed to the tax entries. And once we do so, once we enter all those, we'll do a comparison comparing our adjusted trial balance to what's currently in the books as of the end of 1231-19 and see if things line up. If they do not, then we'll go through and take a look at what is the difference and go from there. So to do this, we're going to put these side by side with QuickBooks. So we're going to open up QuickBooks. We're going to open up the journal entries. We're going to do all these with journal entries. So we're going to go to the company file or the company drop down. We will then go to make journal entries. They'll all be as of the end of the year, 123119. These are adjusting entries as of the end of the year. Now we're going to try to put these side by side by uh, minimizing these windows. And then we're just going to enter the adjusting entries. So we'll go through these and enter them as we go. We may want to highlight them. Sometimes I'll do this. I'll just highlight these and say this is the one I'm working on and maybe make it green or something like that just to indicate that that's the one we're looking for. We're going to start up here. We're going to just type in rent expense and put in the amount of 40500 The memo I typically would put A1. So it's adjusting entry 1, maybe even ADJ a1 adjusting journal entry and then we got rent uh, for the music equipment so rent music equipment is the credit and then a1 so that'll be that one i'm going to say enter and then we'll look at the next one we're not doing the t's so we're going to go down to this item a right click i'm going to make it green and say that's the one we're on and we'll enter this in as insurance so we'll say insurance expense 1833 this is a6 and prepaid insurance once again a6 then we'll enter that one next item we're going to scroll down it's going to be depreciation so i'll highlight that and say this is the one we're on right click and green and we'll make this one depreciation expense 9000 memo is a9 and then accumulated depreciation once again a9 for the memo so those are the two accounts there and enter quickbooks now uses fixed assets items in the listing and this will give us some more detailed information in terms of a list of the fixed assets we have and the accumulated depreciation related to it for now, we're just going to post it to the accumulated depreciation account itself and, and not, in other words, be tracking item by item. So we're going to scroll back up and pick up the next item we have. And one of the reasons we might do that, by the way, is because we might have it in our tax software as basically the supporting detail to, to give that information. Uh, but if we want to track that in QuickBooks, it might be worth doing as well, especially if we can track the book uh the book depreciation there by item okay back here we're going to go to this one we're going to make it green right click making it green we're going to say that this is other income so other income ten thousand, and we're going to say that this is going to be a 12. other side is the checking account checking account and a 12 and then so that looks good so we'll say enter then we'll do the one right underneath it. So I'm going to highlight this one, make it green, right click and make it green. This is a long one. All right. This is going to be the checking account 10,000 a 13 tab tab and then furniture and fixtures. Just typing these in there and then a 13 and then we'll say accumulated depreciation tab 2000 a 13 and then loss on sale of equipment we have to set it up so i'm typing the whole thing in there loss on sale of equipment tab we're going to set it up it's going to be an other 
uh, other expense. Let's put it in as an other expense on the bottom. So it'll show up at the bottom of the income statement or profit and loss. And that looks good. So we'll continue and other expense loss on the sale of equipment save and close so that'll be a 13 as well scrolling down see what else we have here so we've got this one number 17 right click and make that green and so we'll put this in here uh this will be owners draws two three zero zero and then we're going to go to A17 is the memo. And then meals and entertainment. And that's A17. So that's what we have. I'm going to say enter. So that's, that's what we got so far. Now we want to run the report and compare it to what we have in our uh, Excel sheet. So we'll go to the reports up top. We're going to go to accounting and taxes, the trial balance. And we're looking for the year of 010119 to 123119. And we want to compare this, and it should be the same now if, if, everything, if nothing has changed. And it may be the fact that if this is a client file, they have changed something. So we'll have to go through here, and we want to go line by line and check, double check it up against this adjusted trial balance. That's what we'll do next time. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.